Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion playing a little bit of Reforged Eden. Alright, guys, so. Unfortunately, I am in a little bit of a rush this morning, and I can't wait for too many of y'all to uh, comment on yesterday's video about whether or not you want me to continue the missions or not, because life happens and. I was informed I had things to do today. So, <laughs> we're going to just go ahead and push straight in on the last of the uh, mission. The last of this chapter. We're going to go ahead and push into that and see what we can't get done. And we'll go from there. Alright, activate the mission. Chapter 4, Offworld Grave. Good news is always the best news. You got some relief from your sorrow, at least to some extent, or maybe not. Take a rest and enjoy your beer, but it's about time for a trip to the moon. To find the wreckage of the Titan, stir up some dust. All right, let's begin. Oh, and, uh, and guys, I will be back because I was told... Let's see, where's that, where's that, where's that... The abandoned assembly yard right there. I was told that's a really good POI and I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit that thing. But right now, yeah, we're just going to... I'm going to keep on going. Come on. Leave the planet. You can do it. There we go. I'm going to assume it's referring to moon one or moon and not moon one. All right, well, we'll just coast on over here to the moon. We'll see what we got going on. Let me hit a radar real fast. A Xerox Sunet Cruiser, huh? Okay. Got a little Xerox around here. That's to be expected. Hold on. What do we got? Resupply station. Okay. Yeah, we're not trying to mess with you right now, Xerox. But we will be back. We will be back. You can believe that. It's getting bigger. Looking at the ship, trying to think of new ways to build off of and expand off of what we got currently. I don't know. Maybe if I have the option to build bigger, maybe I'll just build something new. I don't know yet. I haven't quite figured it out. I'd like to figure it out. Actually, I'd like to see, well, no, that one probably wouldn't work. I was going to say I have have a ship that I designed a while back that I haven't got to show off yet. But with the way stuff is in Reforged, uh, yeah, it probably, probably won't work. Here we are, a wreckage the size of the Titan should be easy to find, like this? Yeah, we like literally landed on top of it right here.
Uh, you should make a flyby on all three of the parts for a better scan. 150 meters should be enough. returned this returned perfect results you should now go to the front part and land nearby what do you know I'm actually by the front part yes I love my little door set up This is giving me goosebumps. Why? Because it's a wrecked ship. I'm afraid we can't expect the Xerox to have left anything for us to find. There are some secret technical details of the construction that they might not have found, or they might have not found. Secrets, you say? Is there possibly more you can tell me? Commander, I do not know. There is. Please wait. A signal has activated. IDS. Fay wave protocol black. Find override code. Find which code console where. IDA. Remote access detected. Emergency shutdown. Great. Things are happening. Finding a code in a maintenance console in a wreckage after more than a year of the enemy tearing it apart. Whole expedition is absolutely doomed. I can kind of agree on that one. Okay, now we can go look for it. Is that what you're telling me? Ooh, year old pumpkin cookies. I'm going to eat it. We always eat our dessert before we eat our main meal. The ratatouille just has to wait. Okay, nothing at that computer terminal. Yes, nothing stands in my way when I have a multi-tool. Ooh, we have more goodies. I say that, they're going to get me overloaded and I'm not going to be able to move the ship. Okay, nothing here. Busted armor locker. Take you. Oh, we landed right next to the thing. Maintenance console. Maintenance access point out of order. Reactivate it. Activation failure. Lockdown mode protocol wave rider. Access granted. Level black. Welcome commander. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Services are limited while this ship is under enemy control. Make your choice. Uh, get the latest status report. All status reports have been erased by information not available. Note. There is a file tagged personally for you. Signature M. Yeah, play the file. 
Admiral Rank, Secret Communication Protocol, Type Hyperion. Welcome, sir. Please authenticate. Black, Black Hyperion, setting private mode. Welcome back, Commander Mercer. Hello, IDA. How are you today? I'm fine, Commander. So, this is the day? Yes. This will also be our last conversation, I'm afraid. Sad to hear this, sir. Starting UCH Protocol Alpha. Your order, sir. Please list Operation Phoenix main vessels, location, and status. Preparing list. Uh, Titan Command Ship, Apollon Station, Final Warp Preparations. MS Grand, Apollon Station, Final Warp Prep. Vasily, Earth Moon Orbit, waiting for flight team. Baron, Roswell. Diligent transport, dock to the MS Titan, unloading supplies. Another transport, Heidelberg. The York transport. You wish to review the status of the support craft and armed forces? No thanks. Please list the current location and permission status of the MS Titan. Admiral Ronald T. Yaden, Fleet Admiral, located in his time. Admiral's Captain, Permission Rank Black, Vice Admiral Jeremy Benner, some other stuff. Yes, are y'all going to find anything important here? Or are you just going to list people? Science Chief. Please issue the prepared relocation request in about an hour for the following staff. Report to the Titan. Disturb shall report to the Titan tomorrow. Relocation request has been scheduled. Is the Operation Phoenix preparation on track? Yes, all the vessels will be ready for departure as planned. Yes, there's probably problems. Everything is fine. Just thinking about the consequences. Do you wish to proceed? We have no other choice, IDA. That's correct, sir. Time has come. I know, sir. I am quite excited. The computer is excited? I'm confused. Good to know, IDA. Please start the what? The childhood program. Uh-oh. Decryption in progress. Core entity duplicated. Core entity transferred accessing personal equipment. Reintegrating core entity. Status upgrade black. Okay. Odd. Oh, I guess it wants me to click, doesn't it? I was like, is it going to change? Reactivation codes are set. IDA child entry has been successfully installed to Lieutenant Commander Disturbs Equipment. Childhood program completed. Yay, sir. Docking Bay 2 has signaled your shuttle has just arrived. Thanks, IDA. Sir? Do you really need to go on this journey? I'm afraid I need to be on the Titan when they leave. That's sad to hear, Commander. No worries, IDA. I will be fine. I am sure you will. One last thing to do. Please send the Wave Rider Protocol. Code Black Wave Black. Wave Rider Protocol has been sent. Orders have been issued to all vessels and stations. Override codes have been accepted. Let's hope the Council's trust in Commander Lamar and Commander Disturbed is justified. You can always count on me. For whatever reason, they have been chosen by the Council without telling them. Yay! Secret missions. 
Godspeed to both of you. The fate of two galaxies seem to be in your hands from now on. It's about time. Please start the countdown. Wave Rider protocol has been activated. Countdown started. Time left until the event. 23 hours, blah, blah, blah. Sir, I wish all the best. Farewell and goodbye. Goodbye. Starting countdown. End of file. All right, find out about M. Information classified. Ask about crewman M on UCH Heidelberg. Uh, searching crew database. There's only one crewman that surnamed John Edwin Mercer Jr. Second commander of the UCH Heidelberg. Status unknown. His father was information classified. Information classified. Access level black black required. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Blah, blah, blah. Find information about the override codes. Code black confidential information for your eyes only to generate an override code to access the fail safe data cache. Three code fragments need to be assembled. The fragments are hidden in three consoles. They need to be assembled on the main command console on the bridge. The location must remain unknown to any and all personnel below access level black at all cost. Please enter credentials again to start recovery procedure. Authorization approved. Recovery main key generated. Find all three randomly pre uh, prepared consoles. They are spread over the front, middle, back of each ship. Each console will automatically update its code fragment when the recovery main key is positioned within two meters of the console. Press F to talk to... Wait, what? So, of course, these codes are distributed over the tie-in on one in each wreckage, no doubt. Maintenance access point, uh, reactivate, activation failed. Enter your credentials. I think we've already done this. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this, but let's double check. Saying the same thing so far. Yeah, this is just replaying. Okay. I need my light on. It got dark. Okay, so there are consoles that are hid somewhere. We've got to find them. Okay, we'll just check some rooms. We'll put that away because I'm going to accidentally zap it. I already know I am. Okay, not anything over there. Let's go this way. That just goes outside, right? Yeah. No. We almost fell off the ship. No. It can't accept anymore. I was afraid of this. My stuff is filling up too fast. Um, yeah, let's go through here. Bathroom. Hey, 
Hey, console. <laughs> they what? No, we fell. We fell and it and it uh started the thing, so it like locked me out of my uh my jetpack. Updating token code module. Start procedure. Hidden logic f uh, log file detected. Play file. Why not? Command meeting room, T-23, Admiral Yaden, Vice Admiral Benner, Commander Mercer. Hello, Mr. Mercer. The council is sending you over for another last-minute stress test, Admiral, Vice Admiral. Please have a seat, Mercer. Thanks, Vice Admiral. So, why are we meeting here? Has the start been positioned? Or postponed? No, sir. The opposite has happened. The scheduled start has been set to 1600 tomorrow. What? Mercer? Can you please tell the council that this is at least 24 hours too early? The warp drives are not ready. Not to mention all the other stuff that is missing. I'm afraid the countdown has already started. Other commanders will be informed in an hour about the new schedule. I checked the status of all ships. We should be ready even for this accelerated schedule. I just checked the new mission parameters. All shore leaves have been canceled. The personal personnel on Apollo Station, Titan Station, and the Marine bases will be sent to the transports in the next 12 hours. Seems there is no way back. Hmm, no time window of the event is set and will open only for a minute perhaps less okay then so be it we knew this could happen mr benner please commence the start protocols aye sir mr mercer we have installed the control station you requested it is locked with your credentials thanks sir Condition yellow at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Affirmative, sir. Okay, gentlemen, let's add a new chapter to mankind's history. Token code module sequence. Two more files are required to full override the code reconstruction. Okay, so... I don't understand why they played the backstory like log file to get that code. But I mean, it's cool, but yeah, I just I'm like, really? We had to go we had to go through all that. I was kind of thinking I was just gonna walk up to it and it'd be like access code alpha twelve bravo four, something like that. And then we'd be done. Oh no. They want to have story time. That's all right, though, because we've got one. We've got one. Now let's go over here to this one. Which one this is? This is the rear. Hello, rear ship. And that's probably the access point right there. They keep trying to give me goodies. They know it's hard to resist the goodies. Hey, here we go. Updating token module. Attention. Another hidden log file has been detected. Yay, more backstories. Play the file. 
Warp core control room. You know, it'd be nice if they uh, had a voiceover on all this stuff and it played. I mean, I know this is like the in-game story mode stuff. I just think that'd be super awesome if they had some voiceovers on there. Hello, Commander Mercer. Nice to have you here. I've heard you are now responsible for the warp engines and the protocols and having overridden my repair protocols and tests the moment you stepped on board the Titan. So how can I help you? I'm just having a look at the warp core. Impressive. Yes. Unbelievable what the techs have pulled out of that pile of junk in Antarctica four decades ago. Nothing but destroyed devices and incomplete blueprints. But now, somehow it just magically works. Okay, well, not magically. You know what I mean. Yes, indeed. Just have a question, if you don't mind. These black suits, is this kind of a uniform? Confidential. Oh, okay. So what exactly are you doing here, and why do they have black suits? As I said, having a look at the warp core and its optimizations. Hmm, okay. Send up the final routines, or do you want to rewrite them right away? No worries. Gotta love schedules. Ahem, no, sure. The team has made exceptional progress since some officer sitter decided to throw them out of their beds. This, after already working, this obviously the risk of working in the expedition fleet, right? Tell you what, the whole expedition thing is going a strange route. Not to mention there's a council that governs all the decisions and UCH is somehow in the dark. Don't you think that requires some additional explanation? No. What should we explain? To whom? There is nothing secret about the expedition for those that are involved. We'll tell the people what they need to know. Yes? That's exactly my point. As you might know, my grandpa was the lead engineer on the Hyperion. He was not lost with the ship, only for one simple reason. Someone decided to reschedule his shift. I'm thankful for that. But my grandpa never managed to get rid of the stigma of the coward that was left behind. My dad moved to Mars with me after my grandpa's sudden death. Uh, signed up for the fleet, blah, blah, blah. My dad said grandpa became crazy about stuff. Pretending the officials just want to silence everyone, especially him personally and the Hyperion's bereaved something. All his stories are of a planned accident. The ship is not being destroyed and some threat we are facing. All very dramatic. And to be honest, until the last 24 hours, I always thought this old poor man something when you showed up on board the Titan. Suddenly remembered one of my grandpa's stories about some black suits. Visiting the Hyperion a few days ahead of the mission. Commander, please. No. Listen, Mercer. Been working for this project for nearly eight years now. And in the last few months, I've looked at this project and I've done the math in the last week and the last 24 hours in particular. So many strange things, uh, you know, the grand and the Titan each have several squads of Marines on board. Sure you do. I checked the manifest yesterday. Oh, these things guys, <laughs> so much reading. We have stashed away tons and tons and tons of high caliber ammo. I'm an engineer. I know what these formulas something. So don't tell me that this nothing is secret. And no, and now you are coming on a board. And the first thing you do is mess with the protocols I have been developing for the last five years. Commander, calm down, please. The adjustments were made have been derived from important data coming directly from a pollen station. Dr. Grayson, Dr. Dawson, you might know them. I do. 
but I've also looked at the changes you made. These are risky. I'm not sure what they should do exactly. They don't seem to have any function that improves the efficiency of warp drives. Rest assured, these have been approved by top specialists. Everything is fine. Rest assured that if something goes wrong and someone is harmed, and I discovered that is because of your changes, nothing will be fine for you. Okay, well, that was like a whole bunch of stuff. Confirm to complete sequence. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. So, all right, so now we've got one more code to retrieve. Thankfully, only one more. Once again, backstory. I mean... I don't know about y'all, but regardless, if, uh, if I was taking a fleet of ships for the first time ever to a new galaxy, yeah, I would probably have like several, several squads of Marines or somebody with me. I'd have some sort of you know, military force with me just in case stuff happened. You know, someone someone to deal with a a hostile threat. I mean to me that only makes sense, you know. And honestly a a, a couple squads, yeah no, no no no. No, I'd be having like I don't I don't know the proper the proper term like grouping of them. I don't know if it'd be like a battalion or like what what it'd be, but you know, I'd be I'd be wanting like a couple hundred at least, you know. So I don't know. I'm sure y'all know the uh the proper term for that number of soldiers, Marines. I'm sure they I'm sure they switch different names in between different services and, you know, things. So y'all let me know. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.